As market forces penetrate firms and bid up the value of attributes of labor that are more measurable than is the knowledge born of experience, it can be expected that trends in wages will not blank those whose main value lies in such experiential knowledge. So there's a couple of things to note here. First off, we want to simplify the sentence, which is quite a mouthful. There is value of attributes of labor. So let's just call it labor. So market forces are making labor a good thing. And that's far more measurable than something that we will call experience. Knowledge born of experience. Again, let's just simplify that to experience. So the next part of the sentence says, it can be expected that trends in wages will not blank those. So if market forces are helping those bidding up value for labor, because they're more measurable than experience, we can expect trends to not help those when it comes to experiential knowledge. Notice that at the end, experiential knowledge, knowledge born of experience, same thing. So experiential knowledge can match up with experience. And as we know, expected trends in wages will not really help those who are basically have knowledge born of experience or experiential knowledge. And so I look for words that mean help. I see A, favor. Okay, that could work. I see B, aid, to help, to be in favor of. Okay, those words are similar enough. And I go through the other ones just to make sense. Affect will not affect those. Affect could possibly work, but effect is very different from these two words. These two words are both positive. Effect just means has an effect, maybe positive or negative. So that's why we can get rid of that. When you forsake someone, you abandon someone. That doesn't make sense. Betrayed could go against. And both of these words are the opposite of what we're looking for. Again, we will, it would will not help. And differentiate doesn't work. And there are our two answers. So again, the key is kind of simplifying a sentence with a lot of words, picking up the important parts, and then coming up with your own word and making sure the words are similar as we have here in A and B.